Moses was a very young child when he was taken from the care of his mother to live in the royal courts of Egypt. Although raised a prince, he would never forget the family to which he was born. Moses was a Hebrew, the special people of God's promises. The faith of Hebrews remained in Moses' heart, even as he grew up surrounded with all the power, riches, and pleasures that Egypt had to offer. Forty years passed, and Moses grew from a boy into a man. But even though he was raised in the Egyptian way of trusting riches, horses, and chariots, God continued to draw Moses' thoughts away from Egypt and toward his fellow Hebrews. One day, he went out to see his people who were forced to work as slaves. The things he saw were terrible, including an Egyptian taskmaster beating a Hebrew slave. When Moses saw this, it broke his heart and filled him with anger. It was as if this man was attacking his own brother. Moses waited until he thought no one was watching. Then he charged toward the Egyptian, killed him, and buried his body in the sand. But as Moses would soon find out, someone had seen him, and word of his crime spread quickly. The next day, Moses went out to his people again. But this time, he saw two Hebrews fighting with each other. In disbelief, he confronted them. Men, you are brothers. Why do you hurt each other in this way? One of them replied, Who made you a ruler and judge over us? Are you going to kill me the way you killed the Egyptian? Moses was terrified. Everyone knew his awful secret. Meanwhile, Pharaoh was furious when he heard what Moses had done. By defending a Hebrew slave over an Egyptian taskmaster, Moses had rebelled against Pharaoh himself. Pharaoh ordered that Moses be captured and killed immediately. But Moses had already fled far away into the wilderness. Moses left Egypt behind, but this was just the beginning of his story. Moses ran for his life until he came to a place called Midian, where he rested at a community well. Women arrived at the well to get water, but they were driven away by a band of rival shepherds. Moses sprang into action to defend the sisters. He quickly defeated the shepherds, then helped the girls water their flock of sheep. When Jethro, the girl's father, heard about what Moses had done, he insisted that Moses be brought home and given a hero's welcome. Over the next 40 years, Moses would find a new home in the land of Midian and in the household of Jethro. In time, Jethro gave one of his daughters to Moses as a bride, and Moses started a family. As the years passed, Moses would learn humility and the strength of a good shepherd when the time was just right, God would call upon Moses to lead one of the greatest deliverance stories ever. Today's memory verse comes from Hebrews 11, 24 through 25. By faith Moses, when he was grown up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to be mistreated with the people of God than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin.